another thing that I've noticed as regards mm. this mm. is reading through the Buddhist scriptures, at least the Pali Canon, it seems that people found meditation much easier to practice than people nowadays. This is an impression I've got. Even people found it, found it easier to gain insight than people nowadays. Um, I wonder why that should be, if my impression is correct. Mm. I remember reading some time ago uh, a book by a very eminent Western Buddhist scholar who maintained that the reason why the, the bhikkhus meditated so much in the Buddha's day was that they had nothing else to do. <laughs> Well, there is some element of truth in that, yeah. in the yeah. sense that nowadays we have so many things to do besides you know, meditation. Well, there's TV to watch, yeah? there are films to go and see, there are newspapers to read, there are advertisements to look at. There are all sorts of diversions and excitants and stimulants. Yeah? And, uh, the presence of these things in our environment and their ready availability uh, does tend to make you know, meditation much more difficult than it was. Mm -hmm. It's not so much that meditation inherently is more difficult now than it was then. Human nature hasn't changed to, to that extent. But I would say that uh, the, uh, the obstacles, the hindrances to meditation and spiritual life generally, which exist nowadays, are far, far more numerous than they were in the Buddha's day. Mm -hmm. They were in principle still the same. Yes, just more of them. Just more specific instances of them. Yes. Yeah.